So you're probably thinking, what's happening on the other side of the planet? So the Japanese declared we're on the Soviets. How did that go? Um, hmm, not so good. But we have an interesting Mongolia pushing into China once again. Uh, is that all history? Would you even class that as all history? Recreation of history 1,000 years later? Hey, I'm Feedback Gaming, and you're about to watch something that is four days in the making. This is the hardest challenge I've ever done for Hearts of Iron 4. And the first day of practicing this, I regretted saying that I would do this challenge. If this video gets 5k likes, I will do that achievement on my next video. Normally when I make a video, it takes like one day to prep it, maybe half a day, and then the rest of the day I can record it. This took three straight days, 12 hours worth of practice to finally be able to get it. And I've just got it. Now I don't usually do this, but if you want to support my content, and have the ability of some of my videos to get early access, you can become a Patreon. And with a $5 Patreon, you get exclusive access to the feedback of chat, as well as early access videos. Now, I didn't usually shout that out so early in the video, but I put so much work into this video, I feel like if you want to, and you're able to, then become a Patreon, because that will really help me out. Let's do this. So let's talk about, first of all, the requirements for this. You have to play in the 14th of August, 1939 start. You must play as Poland. You must have Iron Man enabled, and you must be on recruit difficulty. You have to be on regular, veteran, or elite difficulty. And you must inflict 1.8 million casualties to the Germans. And it doesn't matter if you've got historical turn on or off. Here we go. This is the one. I've just spotted. It took me 29 attempts to get it because it's kept a log of every time I've done Poland Iron Man. Holy moly. First of all, shift left click on assign divisions. We are going to draw a four back line here. Assign them all, press B, right click. They're all railroad into Warsaw. Research wise, we are gonna go for bolt weapons two, improved infantry equipment one. We are gonna go for superior firepower, which we'll get instantly. And then the next doctrine, which is delay. And then we are going to go for maintenance company. One. So just to cover why, the first two you have a 100% bonus for. And the earlier you get these, you get a slight attack bonus for defense and soft attack, which is always good. Superior firepower, on the other hand, is great for attacking. But it also is really good for defending. The soft attack values apply whether you're on the attack or on the defense. It doesn't matter. Where, for instance, Grand Battle Plan gives you entrenchment. One, you have to entrench, which takes time. And two, it only applies the modifier on the defensive. And in this case, we are going to be attacking, believe it or not. So that's why the pair of firepower is a no-brainer. Finally, maintenance companies is we have very low production. There is a method with this where you hold on to Krakow, as well as Warsaw, and you form a circle around here. That way, you release your puppet of Ukraine here, and you have a connection between Krakow and this tile in Ukraine, and that way you can trade with the Soviet Union. Now that method's great for production-wise, but the problem is you have to hold a lot of tiles, which spreads your defenses extremely thin. I have attempted this method about three or four times, and I find it very unreliable, so I would recommend you do that method. Anyway, back to production. Your production is going to be very low, you can have no steel, no tungsten, no aluminium. So in this case, you need maintenance companies to capture German equipment, and that will recoup the losses so you can continuously maintain your defense or offense depending on what you're doing okay next your civilian factories we are going to build three on this one three on this one and then we're going to max this up to number 10. just one other thing to note as well you will suffer from losses of this equipment throughout the game you'll never be wanting to repair your infrastructure because there's no point it is it offers a detriment to the Germans because they will lose equipment and speed and reinforce rate but for you it won't have much of an impact so that benefits you and you will also be repairing the forts as well. We are going to assign two into support equipment but we're changing this production line from motorized to artillery and shift that to the top and we assign all the extra factories into weapons. Because it's the very start of the game you keep all of your production efficiency that's why you have to sort this out now. Modify government. First you need is the theorist, the doctrines, we are going for the offensive expert. You are going to go for the infantry expert, and you are also going to go for the cavalry expert as well. We're also going to go for the artillery designer, and that's it for now. National focus, we are going to go for construction engineering early on, build those forts for the first few weeks of the game. At the start of the game, we're going to train as many divisions as we can. Get our manpower to zero. This creates a little piggy bank of manpower. So once the Germans have occupied all of our territory, 
these training divisions can be stopped and we'll gain all the manpower back. Okay, Air Force, F3, select all the air wings, right click to put them on Warsaw, activate them in the Western Poland region. And we are gonna activate close air support and interception. And finally, Navy, and you're probably thinking, we're not gonna use the Navy, right? Wrong. We're gonna hire a new Admiral, and we are going to move them him to the English Channel here. That seemed pretty drawn out, didn't it? Well, that was the setup phase. <sighs> There's more to it than that. All right, let's actually start the game. So we've got everyone now grouped up. We're gonna split these armies in two, so it's S to split. S again, S again, split them down to eights. S, S, split them down to eights. There we go. Okay, we're gonna split the armies into two now. S, split. Right click on the army. Gonna separate eight off the purple army and add them all onto the blue. The blue is going to be the attack army. We'll change that to a red and make it look like an attack army. And then the purple army is going to be the defensive army. Okay, now we need to wait until the 22nd of August. Now this is the latest that you can prepare for war. I've found from experience that it's unlikely they will declare prior to the 22nd of August. But be aware, from any time from the 22nd to roughly about the 2nd or the 3rd of September, they can declare war. It's just not worth risking it, so do all your preparation for war on the 22nd of August. In this case, we are going to release a bunch of nations. We're going to re release the Republic of Ukraine and make it a puppet. We're going to release Czechoslovakia, make it a puppet. And we're going to re release Belarus and make it a puppet. These three states will provide a buffer and the German AI will try and position troops on the buffer with the assumption that these are going to join the war against them. So the Germans will position troops on their borders permanently, reducing the amount of troops that are on your border, so therefore means you have to deal with less German divisions overall. Right, we're going to go for worker conditions now. This gets the stability up, factory output, which is always good too. Let's go for that. There we go. And Germany has declared war, and it was on the 23rd of August. See, that's the reason why you do that early. Right, now we're at war. There's a few things we need to do. First of all, we're going to go for war economy. Then we're going to go for free trade. And then we're going to go for extensive conscription. We can't afford that one right now, but that's okay. We can delay that one for a little while anyway. You get an invitation to join the Allies. I'd recommend you take it. They will position their air force inside of this region. It means you're going to extra defense and attack capabilities, which is always worthwhile. Okay, don't forget about your Navy. Got you guys here. And you're going to do convoy raiding in these two C zones. The reason we do that is just if there's a small chance that a German troop convoy is intercepted, that will count towards the amount of casualties. Hey, it's trivia time. If you know the answer to this trivia question and you're smart enough, comment below. Under German occupied Poland, there was a famous uprising in what city? Under German occupied Poland, there was a famous uprising in what city? If you know, comment below. All the land is being eaten up by the Germans right now. All of our land has been taken now, so we can cancel these troops in training. The full 3,000 manpower back. We need to adjust our division now. Okay, we're gonna make an adjustment to our division. We're gonna create a new template, make it an elite one, convert all of you guys to this elite template, and we are going to consolidate them all and merge them all together. Also, the second army that gets deployed into the regular infantry template. Okay, we can exercise the divisions a little bit. This allows them to go level 3 or level 2. That means they've got some fighting capability behind them when they level up to either level 2 or 3. All right, we can cancel the combat line, which don't need it anymore. Need to balance out these divisions. Just going to railroad them to where we need them to be. We need more divisions placed in Warsaw. And then we're going to make a fallback line here. I'll do it manually first. Fallback line, right click, hold it, release it slowly. Don't right click straight away. And then we're going to do a spearhead order right there. And then do exact same on the other side. Fallback line, right click, hold it, release it. And then we release the blitz order, but we're going to press tab to drop it onto a new front line. You have to sometimes press it like three times. Why is it three times? I don't actually know. Anyway, then you select your full army. Control key, which is this one, assign it to this one. S key to split, that splits the army in two. Then you're going to control to the assign to the other front line. As they move over, you're going to press control B, which auto toggles strategic redeployment for all the existing divisions. And now they'll move over there quickly. Voila. All right, we've got two research slots finished. We've finished the equipment. We can go for decryption and encryption now. This allows us to see the divisions that we've got in the field right in front of us. So therefore we know where to make attacks and where to place our divisions to make encirclements. So this is the basis of the strategy. You form this little C shape, you move here, 
and you move here, and then you encircle this division here. Rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. It sounds easy, but there are many times the Germans may put many divisions on your front line, and it'll be, you'll be overwhelmed, they'll activate their battle plan, and you'll be swarmed with a huge amount of divisions, and there's nothing you can do about it. And then, at that point, it's pretty much GG. So the question is, why did we do this? So, the idea is, is we build planning bonus to allow us to gain a slight edge over the Germans. We can acquire a maximum 49% extra preparation attack bonus, which results in extra breakthrough and extra soft attack. But, to make sure we get this in, well, only a week instead of waiting months, we're going to activate the staff office plan. As you can see now per day, this number will massively shoot up. The more planning bonus we get, the more additional damage that we do will do at the end of the day. There you go, we're in a position now where we can move. We're going to select our air force and we're going to go close air support and interception. And the reason why I'm showing all the hotkeys right now and individually clicking them because I will be doing this really quickly in just a moment and you'll probably look at it and think, what the hell is Dave doing? But then it'll give more of an explanation of what's actually going on. And there you go. We're going to activate more air crews as well, which gains more air efficiency. And we are going to activate our battle plan. More than likely, this is going to fail. I'm probably not going to be able to get a breakthrough here to be able to encircle these two divisions. But we will attempt to do so, and we'll try rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, until we eventually do get it. Construction engineering is not as worthwhile anymore. We need to select a national focus. And we are going to go for internationalism, then authoritarianism, go left, and then political commissars, which gives an extra 10% division recovery rate. All right, let's activate the plan. Let's go. This looks winnable. But like we can do this. We are... The Soviet Union wants the East. We give up the East. Just that one tile there. And it's very important. So many distractions. That we keep a very close eye on these two battles. And as you see, we've just broke through there. And we broke through there. And that was a success. Now, this is important. Okay? This is really important. You need to disable the divisions from the mission plan. By clicking here, which is Control H is the hotkey for that, and press H once again to hold them in position. Now the default reaction for the AI right now is to attack me to try and relieve this encirclement. And you can see straight away one division goes for it. And full enough this time we only get the one. That's a bit of a shame because usually if you get a few of those, cancel those orders. That means you can get some free XP as well as some free experience. It's all about building up your generals so they've got loads of attack power to be able to do things later in the game. Anywho, let's double click on this guy, right click on this and we'll close this pocket. And those divisions are now dead. Not only do you get bonus XP for that, but we are also going to gain equipment for it as well once we've got maintenance companies. We're going to press B, which is strategic redeployment, right click here, S to split, right click here. Rinse and repeat. Time. Now I'm going to do the hotkeys and do them really quick. Do you see that? Boom, straight away. One division on either tile, that's perfect. It's probably going to be difficult for us to be able to close these without the additional planning bonus. We're also going to get Offensive Doctrine. So that gives an additional 5% extra attack, which is worthwhile. Once again, when we're building planning bonus, we don't need our navy up, so you can hit the hotkeys X and C. And that takes them off their orders. That way we're not wasting planes. We need to use those planes when we're at our weakest. In this case, at the very start. Because our generals are weak. Our divisions are weak. And they're not at the most optimal. All right, we've got max planning bonus. So we'll activate our battle plan. And we're pushing into these two divisions once again. To try and eventually encircle these two. Okay, something different has happened here. This division is trying to relieve this one in the jungle. In the forest. In this case, we're going to select these two divisions. Shift, click, click. Press S to split. And right click here. Now these divisions are now being pinned. So that means, in this case... That there will not be enough time for them to relieve this battle until we close them down. Okay, so we broke through on one side, but not the other. In this case, we're just going to stop you guys. Press H to split. Cancel the order you're given. And then S to split. And then shift right click on this order to assist them in battle. And they'll join the reserves. And in this case, this battle's about to be won. And it's been won. Ah! He's done exactly what I wanted to do now. So we're going to select the entirety of this army, cancel all the additional orders. We're going to press H to hold their position. Left click this army, H to hold their position. And look, the AI is doing exactly what we wanted to do now. Everyone is attacking us from all around us. They're all weak divisions. The battles that cannot be won. The AI is acting desperately to try and relieve these two divisions that are encircled. And as you can see throughout the board, we're going to win these battles all across. Easy. Free XP, free experience. Win, 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 win. We can use our attack army right now to close the pocket. Boom, done. Got him.
All right, the AI has made a bit of an error right now. He's left these two areas empty. So in that case, we're just going to walk in there and take it. Keep a very close eye on them because the AI usually reacts at the very last minute and they've just given us some freebies, which I'm not going to complain about. H to stop the position, want to sign these divisions from the battle plan and wait. And the AI just attack us. France has capitulated. That's a very quick capitulation on France. Very, very quick. And Switzerland's joined the war as well due to the fact that historicals turned off. And are you done? Are you done? I'm going to move into there and close that pocket. We also have the option to guarantee, get guaranteed by Romania, but it makes no difference anyway, but accept it, why not? Uh, maintenance Companies 1 is done, we're going to go for Maintenance Companies 2, and then we're going to add Maintenance Companies onto the Elite Army, these ones. Oh, it's just easier if we replace the Reconnaissance with the Maintenance. But I don't feel confident attacking once I don't actually know how many divisions are here, so we're going to have to wait for decryption. In fact, scratch that, let's go. So here we have one motorized, and here we have one infantry. How many divisions are in the center? No idea. Okay, this division is trying to break away. Left click this army, S right click. This guy now is pinned. Switzerland's been fallen. Here, A, hold H. H for these guys, they're attacking us again. Free experience. And that's done. Right click on the army and close the pockets. The reason why we have an attack general is because this guy will gain all the experience from closing the pockets. And as you can see, he's always halfway towards getting to level 5. And he is working currently on towards infantry leader. And he's almost halfway. Okay, we're going to work on artillery now. And we're also going to work on the next doctrine as well. Mobile defense. We'll close this area once again. Rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. That office plan, we've got a tank in the middle. That's really worthwhile. Doesn't really benefit us from experience in any way, uh, but getting rid of a tank division uh, limits the offensive capabilities of Germany in other areas of the world, so it's always good. We've got other strikes, once again, really unfortunate, but it is what it is. Everyone's in position once again, get the air force up. And then we're going to attack once again and close the puck. Pushing to the forest, doing quite well here, not so much on the right side. So when one side is doing better than the other, you need to be aware of divisions that move over to try and defend the others. There we go, we're about to close the west pocket. Select you guys, cancel your orders, H to hold, S to right click, and we're going to use an assist attack here, and they'll reinforce and they'll push in. These guys are all shuffling, I need to prevent them from moving. And we're there, excellent. Everyone's in position now, and hold everyone. Everyone's going to wait. This has only got four divisions here, and that scares me a little bit. So we're going to move three divisions over, just so we make sure this area doesn't break through. And it does look a bit flimsy. I'm going to make doubly sure they don't break through on that side. Make sure I keep hammer that right click to make sure they break through. And there we go, we're defending that area now. And the AI stopped attacking because it knows it can't break us. Constantly keep attacking. If they're going to attack me, I'm going to let them attack me. And then right click to close that. One tank division, two infantry. That was definitely worth it. Rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. The left side is looking okay. The right side, ooh, a bit flaky. Uh, but in this case, what we can do is use this left division to push into the right to extend the combat width. We broke the left. Just oh, another strike. This is insanely bad luck. All right, there you go. Move you guys into position. Right click to assist. And we've got additional attack bonus now. Keeping a very close eye on all the divisions here. And they've broken. Perfect. Yugoslavia has joined the Axis. That's not beneficial to me, but Greece is at war against everyone as well, which is also good because it opens a new front line. I'm going to go for improved artillery and close that. If you want to check on how well your capturing is going, you can click on this little ledger here. Click on equipment, and then you can hover over and see how much equipment you're capturing. Ideally, we want to be capturing our artillery, because then we can add on artillery to our hack division. In this case, we can add you on. How much artillery have we got? We're halfway, which is doable. I like that. That's okay. I'll do that. There we go. And do a staff office plan. Get the planning bonus. See, without the planning bonus with this, our ability to push and actually make gains would be next to zero. It would it would be pretty much null and void. It would not happen. 
So in this case, this is the big divide between is a be able to push and be not be able to. Um, there's four divisions here. This is probably worth a gamble. Let's try and gamble. So we're going to push here. We're going to pin these four divisions. And then these guys are going to push on the other side. No, this is not doable. We tried. We gave it a go. I thought I could get another tank division, another three infantry, but we're not going to. So we're just going to stop the plan, pause, stop the other divisions, and just continue on. All right, so two divisions are moving. So remember, when the divisions are moving, they're breaking their entrenchment. So that makes it easier for us to push into them. Maintenance 2 is finished, and we like to rush Maintenance 3 as well. Just so we get more reliability. Mm, that's okay, but mainly because we get more of a capture rate. There you go, it's moved. Two divisions on the left, three on the right. Let's give it a shot. Let's activate our air force as well. Here we go. The left is an easy break. Right, it's going to be slightly more of a struggle. These guys are moving in the center, so once again, we're just going to split a few divisions off. The reason I split them off is that I break my entrenchment as well when I move, so I don't want to do that. The left is broken. And we're going to make sure we're helping assist here. Keeping an eye on these divisions that are moving here, because I don't want them to reinforce this area. I'm going to left-click on this army here, and then right-click here. The reason we do that is to stop these divisions shif shimmying in to defend this guy. And right now, this is going to break in less than a day, and it has broken. Perfect! So we select everyone now, stop the plans, pause, stop, 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 cancel on a sign. Voila! Let the AI attackers. Heroes of the production front. The strikes are over. Oh, it's looking like they're going to break this one here. Let's just pin these guys in, stop them from breaking us. Are they going to allow us to retreat? Yes, they have. We've managed to just, just in time, relieve them. Remember, when you attack them, you're pinning them as well. Don't forget that, because when you're pinning them, you're preventing them from doing damage, which is advantageous to you. And once again, unfortunately, we lost our, our breakthrough. It happens, and you probably experience this maybe three or four times. Sometimes you're just not always able to break them, and it happens. Can't win them all, boys. We can't win them all. All right, it looks like the AI has decided to attack us now, and this looks like a full-blown attack. They're not messing around now. This is a full-blown attack, and I can tell that because they're pushing Warsaw and pushing my left city as well. So in this case, this is a bit of a desperation move, so we need to go into decisions and activate desperate defense. So unfortunately, we don't have the political power, so that is going to put us in a sticky pickle. It looks like they've chose to end their attack there. That was really lucky. Usually at this point, what you would do is you'd go for desperate defense, which gives us an additional 20% extra defense, and you'd also go for your defensive expert, which gives you an additional 10% defense. And once again, you only activate them in those dire circumstances when you're uh, just about to fall. All right, good news. Our main general, our attack general, has got the new infantry leader trait. We can also go for Infantry Expert too. Gives them an extra 50% attack. Now that is, doesn't seem like a lot, but that makes a massive difference of how quickly and easily you can break these divisions. And you're about to find out very shortly. Continuing the research on improve artillery upgrade too. And that will give us an extra passive bonus of 10% uh, soft attack for our, our divisions, which will help them break things. All right, let's give this a shot again. Max planning bonus. Activate the Air Force once again. I'm gonna try and push these two. It should be a little bit easy now with the uh, Extra 50% modifier, but I don't know, it's difficult to say. You can go either way. See, we're really struggling on the left now, but on the right side, we're doing okay. There we go, we broke that side. We need to move you guys in, split you off. Move you guys forward, make sure we keep everyone in position. This guy's trying to reinforce, so we need to select a few of you guys just to pin him in. Can we break this? It's actually looking less and less likely. We're just not reinforcing quick enough. All right, move you here, move you here. A lot of fiddly micro here, boys. This is probably the most micro you've ever seen in a Hearts of Iron 4 game. Okay, we've got improved computer machine now, so we need to work on decryption and encryption as soon as possible. I'm going to do that now. So if we can break these two divisions here, we'll, we're on to a win, but unfortunately they're reinforcing from all angles, making it more and more difficult, but... I think we might get lucky. No, the reinforcer motorize, and then another infantry division. No, we're going to have to call that one a loss, unfortunately. Uh, it's best to call it a loss, because otherwise you're just going to burn considerable amount of equipment. It's just not worth it. So it's best just to call your losses and just say, yep, that's not one we can get, that one. We'll try another time. The way they're building up on our border right now, it gives me the suspicion that they're going to plan an attack against us. 
In that case, I'm just going to move you guys here, build entrenchment. I'm also going to switch out with this guy as well. Go for charismatic. Just a different field marshal. He's got more defensive traits. I'm going to go for integrated support. I'm going to spend 100 XP on that. This means our uh, artillery support divisions will do uh, a lot more soft attack, which is always good. So right now, we're in a bit of a waiting phase right now. I'm, I don't feel 100% confident, so I'm just going to sit and wait. And there you go. He has launched an attack against. This is what I thought was going to happen. So we go for desperate defense. Here, it's looking like a loss in a day. In a day, really? And the Warsaw front's doing okay. Make sure we keep on the repairs. I'm having a really hard time breaking Warsaw, but on the left flank here, it looks like this is, might fall. It's not, it's not end of the world if it does fall. Uh, but just a bit of a nuisance, I have to get it back. I think what we're going to do is I don't want to move and over my divisions back and forth. So I'm going to right click and cancel all the battle plans. And if this area falls, it falls. Fair enough. Not ideal, it's not what I'd prefer, but I don't want to shimmy my troops back and forth because remember, when you move them back and forth, you break their entrenchment. And right now, they currently have 13% entrenchment, and that's a massive amount. It doesn't seem a lot, but it will make a big difference in battle. So I don't want to mess about and try my luck. All right, it looks like they have attempted to attack us here, and they've taken one tile from us. They've done pretty well, uh, but unfortunately, they're not going to push any further. Make sure we focus on repairs, and then we'll focus on building a fort in Warsaw. Keep a close eye on the other general. He's about to hit infantry leader, which is awesome because he gets 50% extra defense. But also, ambusher gives him extra plus 10 entrenchment, which is also worthwhile. In that case, I think about it, I'm going to select him, right click, and I think that probably should be enough to level him up. Almost. There we go, it worked. And then we go for ambusher, nice. Now he's going to develop a healthy amount of 39% entrenchment. Nice. Venezuela has joined the Axis. Just a normal game of Hearts of Iron 4. <laughs> okay, so our production artillery and our support equipment is doing pretty well right now. So what I'm going to do is shift this to the top. That means we can produce an extra 13 guns a day. And also we can modify this division to add on reconnaissance as well. Which gives a potential to get better tactics, meaning doing more damage. And, uh, well, in the end of the day, more damage is going to us a lot of favors so yes all right decryption 2 is now finished and now we can see what the divisions they've got here in all fairness i don't think we're going to be able to break this i don't think that's doable i can give it a try though Let's have a look we are currently winning winning 13 days we're currently looting undecided nope waste of time we're not going to do that because otherwise we're going to take way too many losses and it's not worth it now if we potentially can break this one so let's do that front line Offensive order, get you guys on the right side in position, then we can push this way. We're going to try and push these guys on the right now. Is this possible? I think this is more doable. It's still going to be tricky. Yeah, we are going to be able to break them. So there's two things going on here. We don't really want this tile. In fact, this tile is a bit of a waste, to be honest with you. But the reason why we're pushing it is to make these shuffle their troops. And look, their entrenchment's broken now. Puts us in a good position because it allows us to push here. Uh, we actually do want to fight. So move you guys here, move you guys here, push into the center, have the planning bonus advantage over their entrenchment. Now this one division is just starting to attack here. We're going to hold him and right click to support the attack. That way he doesn't lose his planning bonus. Once again, this is going to be a very triple one to break, but now we're going to do it. Oh, he's reinforced. And there we go. I've done it nice. So now we've got a platform here with the center tile. We can push right into this one. So I was due to push into here again and recapture this city, but I'm not actually going to bother. I'm going to wait for the German, the Soviets to declare on the Germany again. And uh, then we'll push. Because when they shuffle the troops, they'll break their entrenchment. Going for regional combat teams, extra soft attack, always good. And the Soviets have declared. And now they're all moving. And preferably, they're going to make it some mistakes right now. And they have. They're going to let us literally just take... The city that we want <laughs> yes make sure we pin them in so we actually do get it yeah get out of there there we go perfect move you guys here get you guys here and oh this looks kind of familiar doesn't it it's like this is a position we've been in many times before and we're back to where we began so from experience when this tile of this city gets attacked it's very tempting to deploy these divisions and shove them here to provide extra defense. 
You don't want to do that though, because breaking entrenchment is the worst thing you can do, particularly if you've got like an extra at least 10% entrenchment. So in this case, it's best just to lose the city and then recapture a future date. Okay, we're also going to for ex expand central industrial region. This gives extra military factories, so it's worthwhile. Another way of getting extra factories too is to ask whoever controls Ethiopia to give you access to it, but Free France does not, which is depressing. Yeah, they won't actually. But right now, I'd be in a good spot to try and counterattack here and try and take some free divisions, but that medium tank, I will never be able to bust it. Not a chance. So I'm just going to try and wait and hopefully it moves. Okay, I'm getting impatient now. Oh, two medium tanks? Really? Gives the impression they're going to launch an attack against me. Okay, time for phase two. So you're probably wondering, why did we go for the cavalry expert? If we have cavalry, we have the ability to gain an additional 15% bonus, is it? So in this case, we are going to make a cavalry division. And basically turn it into cavalry. And the only thing that makes it cavalry is literally one division more than infantry. So in this case, this division is considered cavalry. Boom. Now they are going to turn into cavalry. The reason why you want to hold off doing this early on is because it costs you quite a lot of guns. And you are going to need to capture a lot of guns off Germany to be able to pull this off. Okay, so I realize that pushing into these two now, now they're fully entrenched with a medium tank is next to impossible. So what I'm doing is teasing the front line here to try and make them move to break their entrenchment. That might be enough to make them do it. Move into the center. Aha, I think we've done it. I think we've done it. By golly, I think we've done it. So they're all shimmying around now, moving around, breaking all their entrenchment. And then we wait for them to move. And we go. Now. Make sure our air force is up. That should be good. Struggling on the west side. East side, looking good. Ah, oh, come on, we can do it. East is broken. Trying to escape, you cannot escape. This is the box of pain. You cannot leave the box of pain. Once you're inside, you cannot leave. You cannot leave. This guy's trying to move in here, so we need to pin you. We've got two divisions here. You need to be pinned to. Like one of them might escape. This guy is just about to break. Oh, we did it. Oh, they're really pushing heavily into the forest here. It looks like they are going to make a break as well. So I'm going to try and hold this. I think the AI feels confident that it could break this. That's the reason why it's reluctantly pushing into the woods. If the AI is going to attack us over and over again, I'm going to let I'm going to let them attack me because in this case I'm definitely going to win. And two, I'm going to get equipment from them and get XP from them. Because not only do we get to take advantage of the infantry expert, the sorry, the cavalry expert bonus, but we also get to take advantage of cavalry leader if we get it, which gives an extra 50% extra attack and potentially an extra 50% attack and uh, extra 10% attack and extra 50% in defense. On top of that. Has he given up now? Has he given up? Yes, they've given up. And now we close the pocket. Mine. And this is a freebie. Oh, freebie. Go, oh, go. Hey. Got him. Do you guys reinforce and push into here? And have you arrived? He arrived? No? There we go. Oh, there we go. Help reinforce the right side. Have you guys noticed a pattern yet? There's a pattern here, right? Have you guys spotted it? So at the beginning of the game, you find that making these pushes is very difficult. But as your generals get experience, you get better traits. You find that these pushes get easier and easier and easier. And in this case, as you can see, things are getting uh, a lot, a lot easier. You do find that if you are up against a very strong medium or light tank division, it is very difficult to make that push. Uh, but as I said to you, uh, you just got to be patient. How we're we doing on progress? So have a look. So German New Zealand War. That's the one. What it was called. We have sustained half a million casualties of them. So we've got a long way to go. And again, again, and there we go. So I'm not gonna lie. There is an element of this that is RNG. There is a lot of random elements that could affect this run. You could get a Germany that attacks you very early on and you just can't predict the amount of firepower they put into you and you get a really unlucky roll and then they push you out of Warsaw and it's over. There's a chance that France could collapse within seconds, which it did in this game. And in that case, it gives you less things to work with. And there's also a chance that the Soviet Union could fall really quickly as well, which also gives you a lot of things to work with. And there's just a chance that you could just say, this run isn't the one and I'm going to have to restart over and do it again. It's sad, but it happens. Here we've got three, maybe four divisions in the hotspot. Let's go for it. And these two Slovakian divisions, they'll melt. 
I imagine these will be weak divisions, and they are. Goodbye. You want to escape? You can't leave! You can't leave, dude. And you're done. Oh, that's a beautiful one. Four divisions. Beautiful. You got a bunch of divisions there that have strategically redeployed. Take advantage of that because they're low org. In that case, you get a free sweep and just wipe them all out in one succession. There's no reason you shouldn't be able to take advantage of that. It's just free units. Again, got them. And get out of here. Get out of here. Here we go. I can honestly say, hand on heart, we've had really bad luck when it comes down to these crises. That was speak of the devil. But we've also had incredibly bad luck as well with the way our generals have rolled points. Uh, seven defense for our attack guy is just rubbish. Easy. Again. All right, we're in a position right now where we can be a little bit more adventurous. So what I'm going to do is disable their order to stop them shuffling. Right click, S to split, move here. Same here, cancel orders, go here. S to split, go here. So five here, five here, five here, five here. Make a nice encirclement on this boy. Is it possible? It might not be successful, but there's a possibility it might encircle two divisions. So a little bit more adventurous push, but worth a go, right? Might have gotten the one, maybe. One division. No, it doesn't like we're going to be able to get it. Oh, no, we have. We got the one. Never mind. It's worth it in the end. We get a lot of XP from all the damage we did. We win all the battles and we get to encircle one division. So it's a mostly a win-win-win-win situation. And you boys in, and you broken. So you're probably thinking, what's happening on the other side of the planet? So the Japanese declared we're on the Soviets. How did that go? Um, hmm, not so good. But we have an interesting Mongolia pushing into China once again. Uh, is that all history? Would you even class that as all history? Recreation of history, 1,000 years later? Okay, I must admit right now, I'm not even trying to pin divisions anymore. I'm just pushing blindly because I know I can beat them. Again! Now, it's very tempting try and go for the latest weapons please don't do this i've made this mistake the minute you select this you're going to lose so much production efficiency you will never be able to produce any guns worthwhile to make up for any losses so don't select it please don't don't make the mistake that i did around it once again 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 once again three divisions in the hot spot yeah do that stay there bro stay wait and oh one escapes that makes me sad we have caused one million casualties we are over the halfway point all right we're gonna go for a more adventurous pocket once again now uh we're gonna pin you here cancel your orders go here then go here you're gonna go adventurous too go here go here split here and here and also half of you guys are gonna go here and not move there's a bloody tank division there stay oh we did it that's such a beauty Oh, that's a big one. I've just realized something. Romania has just joined the Axis. When they invaded the Soviets through the south here, they actually went through here, this tiny corridor. <laughs> Ideally want three divisions in the pocket, so I'm gonna go for that now. Boom. And you boys in, and boop. There we go. Whenever I turn historical off, I spot that the Japanese go against the Russians, and it makes me question, you know, is it a good idea that the Soviets get double teamed? Because you technically want the Soviets to survive. It all depends on the RNG on that, so I don't know. You want a game that's predictable, historical on's probably for you. If you want a little bit of unpredictability and possibly an advantage, but possibly also disadvantage, turn historical off. And... The Soviets have fallen. Now this is make or break. We have the option now to make uh, some crazy divisions and crazy encirclements, which works in our favor. Oh, and that division just got broken immediately. Okay. This is the point where we see an absolute flood of divisions on our front line. Holy moly, look at all these divisions. I'm going to move you guys to the center here to build entrenchment because I'm very nervous about the outcome of this. And this is what Germany looks like, the Greater German Reich. And Japan has taken all of Siberia. And they're fighting China a second time. <laughs> and they're pushing to one front here, but not both sides. Gotta be very careful here, because we uh, managed to get a little encirclement, but not a very big one. Once again, if I keep a close eye on how many divisions I've got on my front line, I can judge based on when they're going to do an attack or not. Kind of like eyeball it. There's an opportunity here. The AI has kind of messed up its position a little bit here. Can we possibly push and take three divisions? Also, the advantage too is when the Soviets fall, all the German divisions from the east come forward. That means we get uh, options to kill mainly German divisions. Trying to break out here, so I'm going to pin them in. 
Don't break out, you're stuck. And yeah, six divisions, nice. Okay, question, big question. How are we doing? 1.5 million. Oh, we're so close. So close. All right, let's try again. It's all going to come down to if we can break the west flank. Oh, it's looking a little bit better now. Uh, did we ever get the ranger trait? Yeah, we do. So we're getting an extra 10% attack into woods. And I think we've got it. I think we've got it. Hey, five divisions. Mine. Oh, they're rapidly breaking that front, though. They attempted to push. Oh, I thought they'd already broke this southern flank, but they've not. And they're not pushing us anymore. Okay, in that case, we're all good then. Close this pocket. Nice. And this is going to be another 50,000, right? 47,000. Yes. This is their wave of attacks they're pushing into us right now. It's a very difficult one to break, though. It's eight forts in Warsaw. I'll let them be the pushers, though, because it's just all free... Free casualties for me, free experience. Oh, what we can get our cavalry leader. Oh, cavalry expert. Now these guys. Oh my god, these guys are gonna be so strong now. Move you guys here. Launch our attack. We're gonna do it with full planning bonus as well. And I think now this should be a point where I don't think, unless we make a big mistake. We can lose. Famous last words, boys. Yep, looks like easy gains, I think. Those guys are broken. Infantry and the motorized are holding a little bit better. And, oh, that's so good. Again! And guys, with all great things that start, this one must come to an end. There we go. 30 minutes of hell. 1.8 million casualties. There we go. It has been done. <laughs> you won't believe how difficult this was and how much time I wasted. Oh my god. Enjoy it, Germany. I got what I wanted. GG! They don't even want, they don't even want this to end. They've gone for so long right now. They don't even want it to end. There we go. Boom. The fall of Warsaw. Thank you.